In this video, we're going to talk about the law of reflection. So what exactly is that? What is its state? The law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So as an example, let's say if we have a flat surface, and let's say this is the normal line, which is perpendicular to the surface. And let's say if we have a light ray that strikes the surface at an angle of incidence of 30 degrees. The angle of incidence is between the light ray and the normal line. According to the law of reflection, the ray is going to bounce back at the same angle. So the angle of reflection, which is also between the normal line and the light ray, that's going to be 30 degrees. And so that's the law of reflection. Now keep in mind, these two angles are complementary. The normal line always forms a right angle with the surface. So this angle is 60 and this angle is 60. Now let's work on this problem. A light ray strikes the mirror at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal. What is the angle x where the ray leaves the second mirror? So here this is the first mirror and this is the second mirror. So this is the incident ray. And let's start by calculating the angle of incidence. So we know that the normal line makes a 90 degree angle with the surface. So these two angles add up to 90. So 90 minus 30 is 60. And so that's the angle of incidence. And based on the law of reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So the angle of reflection for the first mirror is also 60, which means this is 30. Now the three angles of a triangle must add to 180. So what is this missing angle, which we'll call y? Well, 30 plus 130 plus y is equal to 180. Now 30 plus 130 is 160. And so now we need to subtract both sides by 160. So 180 minus 160 is 20. And so that's the missing angle here. So the angle of incidence for the second mirror is going to be 90 minus 20, which is 70. And the angle of reflection for the second mirror is 70 as well, which means x is 90 minus 70, so x is 20 degrees. So that's the angle that the reflected ray leaves the second mirror. So the angle of reflection for the second mirror is 70, but the angle at which it leaves the mirror is 20, which is what we're looking for.